All right, let's get started. Welcome to Mindful Weekend Yoga. For anybody new, I am Jesse Mahoney, and I teach these classes most Saturdays. And they are an invitation and a reminder to do what works for you, opt out of anything that doesn't. And that all of these classes end up recorded and put on YouTube. None of you show up on the screen, just me. Uh, so if in the event you can't make a class uh, live, you can find some old ones there with all of the different themes and choose what appeals to you on any given day. And you can also practice with me in person at retreats. And for those of you in the Bay Area, I'm going to be teaching another um, free class in the Redwoods in early October. So you can join me there. And in terms of the retreats, there are one day retreats at Pi Ranch and at some point soon here where I am. And then we have a three day retreat called Connect in Nature at Green Gulch in the beginning of September. And I know a few of you who are joining me today are coming to that. And it's the last time we're going to offer it at Green Gulch. So if you've ever wanted to go to Green Gulch and practice yoga in a yurt and at Mere Woods, we'd love to have you join me. And then I do longer retreats at both um, Nicasio Creek Farm, where I am, and Sagrada Wellness. And so those are a delight. And we get to practice both this yoga in the morning, every day, and uh, restorative yin yoga, sound baths forest bathing and do coaching and um, culinary medicine. So I'd love to have some of you join me if any of those appeal. And for today, my theme and our focus is going to be connecting with your inner strength and perhaps inner grace and elegance or whatever words come to mind for you. And so with that invitation, notice how you're sitting. Find your root and tilt your pelvic bowl forward, rooting your sit bones and ischial spines downward. And with grace and elegance, align your vertebrae one atop the other all the way through the crown of your head. Grow tall, reaching the crown of your head to the sky. And pause at the top, taking in a big deep breath, giving a cushion between each vertebrae sending the breath all the way down into your pelvic area, rooting it into the earth. And exhale, release, let go of any heaviness. Inhale, pour that breath down in through the vertebrae, all the way down into your root, grow tall. We say root to rise in yoga. And exhale, release. And if it feels good to you and is okay, close your eyes. If it feels good, flip your palms open to the sky. Noticing that we can be strong even in this receptive, open, more flexible spot. We don't have to grip to have strength. We can relax in and soften to connect with that inner fortitude and wisdom. Take a moment to connect with your breath using the breath as a source of grounding, inner calm, nourishment. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Bathing every nook and cranny of the lungs with breath. And releasing tension, clutter, drains, clogs. Noticing that our strength comes when we are in flow. When we are moving, we're stronger. When we're nourished, we're stronger. Nourishing with breath, air, time, space, calm. Three more deep breaths, an abundance of breath, time, space. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let the exhale be longer than the inhale.
pause for a moment, coming back to an unintentional breathing pattern and just notice how you feel. Pause and notice. It gives you power and strength and connection to yourself. Notice how you feel. Notice your root on the earth. Notice your belly all the way up into your solar plexus belly button, what you love, your creativity centers, your power centers, noticing up into your chest and your lungs, and maybe the spaciousness, the strength of your heart, the strength of your desire, your will, your love, and noticing up into your throat, what's happening there? Is there softening needed? Is there strength in your voice? There's strength in what you say, your words perhaps, what you write, what you say to patients or family. Are you getting in the way of that strength by perhaps holding in what you want to say? Noticing if there's a lump or tightness. Sending yourself compassion. Maybe just acknowledging we know what's in there that wants to be said, but maybe it isn't the right time. And noticing all the way up into your third eye or your intuition and your brain, noticing the strength in your mind, the power of a well-managed mind, the power of a calm mind. Most people who join me, in fact, probably all people are smart. We have amazing brains that can do amazing things when we pay attention to them, when we pause and slow down and give them space to think and space to heal. Sending the breath into your head, <clears throat> into your brain, bathing your wisdom, what you know to be true. Garnering strength from that. And notice for a moment here with palms open, sitting tall, rooting into the earth and rising towards the sky, how you feel. Is it grounded, calm, centered, peaceful, strong, graceful? maybe committed. Notice what words pop up. And come back to the breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Bring a hand to heart and another hand atop. A moment to recognize the importance of kindness to ourself and self-compassion in being strong, being authentic, being graceful and elegant, that that involves being kind to ourselves, not being mean to ourselves, not pushing ourselves. It involves accepting who we are in this moment, our skills and growth areas perhaps, Sending ourselves kindness for all the missteps and all the feelings that we happen to have, the disappointments, the sadness, the frustrations, connecting with our humanity, honoring our humanity, that humans are messy and they can be strong within and have fortitude and commitment even with all of the other, that it's all part of it. And taking a moment here, hand to heart, to consider how you would like to move forward. What would strong inner strength look like? Would inner strength be 
being vulnerable? Would it be connecting? Would it be caring for yourself? Would it be standing up for something you believe in? Would it be lying on the grass and looking at the clouds? What would it be for you? Where do you feel the most grounded, most calm, most confident and trusting of yourself, believing of yourself, proud? For many of us, all those words are sometimes edgy or a bit of a struggle and just letting them sit and perhaps choosing one as your intention as we move forward to carry with you as that guiding light of the version of you you'd like to bring forward. Perhaps that highest, wisest self is your strongest self. And why is yoga relevant to this? Because when we practice on our mat, we can bring some of these tools and feelings and ways of moving through the world off the mat. And when we are relaxed and calm, we have access to more information, to more strength. We can connect and grow and change and shift with much more ease. Bringing hands in front, rubbing fingers together, warming up your hands, press thumbs into your sternum, finger pads to the sky. Press your palms together, noticing the strength of the palms and each finger pad pressing against each other. Elbows out wide, engage your back, your belly, Grow tall, huge exhale. Take a moment to set your intention for your practice this morning. Is there something in this invitation of inner strength and fortitude showing up with intention and purpose, calm, grounded, confident? What is it that you would like more of from an honest, authentic, genuine space. What does that look like for you? Not what the world thinks it should look like, but what does it look like for you? And what does it feel like for you? And perhaps setting the intention to practice that this morning, today, this week, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And when you feel complete, lower hands, open eyes, just notice how you feel. A moment to notice. And a moment to wiggle and release anything that's gripping, moving in a way that feels genuine to you, that your body is craving. And then when you notice your sit bones, connect to them, root them into the earth, tilt your pelvic bowl forward, sit up tall and graceful and elegant with inner strength and notice what that takes to do that engaging perhaps releasing hands bringing them lightly to the earth inhale reach to the sky right thumb and middle finger grab left wrist and reach tall grow 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 shimmy notice that growing involves a little wiggling a little relaxing fun huge breath in Exhale, tilt to the right and enjoy your left side body. Let it grow. Let it stretch. Let it fill with breath, nourishing to grow. Using your back and your belly to protect as part of the strength. Inhale, tug a wee bit farther towards the right. Exhale. Inhale back to center, switch clasp of the hands shimmy wiggle grow notice what's needed to grow tall strong beautiful exhale tip to the left and enjoy the right side body nourishing every nook and cranny bathing the spine and the waist and the belly arch back a wee bit with the breath if you have room and it's okay for your back exhale tug release enjoy Come back to center. Release hands, interlace your fingers, flip palms to the sky, shimmy once again. Let the lightness be there. Find your root, root to rise. Inhale, breathe, reach your palms to the sky, slight arch back. 
Exhale, engage belly and center and round forward. Bathe your back with space. Press palms to the front. Press crown of the head to the front. Engage belly. Inhale, reach to the sky. Slight arch back. Exhale, round forward. Seated cat cow using your inner strength. Inhale, arch. Intentional movements. Exhale, round. Noticing it can feel good to be strong. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, last cat. Let it be juicy, delicious, inviting, kind. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, open arms out to the sides. Press them with strength into the side walls or side air or side trees. Flex your wrists. Pinch your scapula together with energy. Noticing the energy in these tiny pockets of the body. Exhale, release, and enjoy. Spread fingers wide as you can, using their energy, noticing the strength in the fingers. Bend each knuckle joint in the fingers, squeezing tight and slow. Squeeze tight. Enjoy your strength there. Press those fists into the side walls. Pinch your scapula. Exhale, let it out. Enjoy. Spread fingers wide, wide, wide. Once again, enjoy the energy in each finger. Move thumbs, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. One at a time. Fully using each finger muscle, inviting the strength. Noticing the strength in your arms. You might feel it. Notice it's there. Wrap yourself into a huge hug. Fingers come to shoulders, medial scapula, whatever works for your body today, be kind. Lift elbows up and squeeze. Use your strength to fill yourself up with the hug, with the touch, with the squeeze. Squeeze until you notice your heart. Exhale, squeeze tighter, drop chin into, squeeze more, exhale. Inhale, rise, chin to ch neutral and untangle. With strength, press your arms into the sidewalls. Draw your arms back about 12 inches. Notice your chest, lower your hands, fingers to the floor, sorry. Reach fingers to the sky. Lower hands down to your sacrum. Press your fists to the earth. Drop chin to chest and release your neck. Press the energy through your hands into the floor. Huge breath in. Use your belly. Sit strong and tall here. Exhale, release. Release your hands. Shake everything out. Roll shoulders and stretch legs long in front. Move the flesh of your seat out of the way. Connect your ischial spines into the earth. Notice when we connect to our roots or feel centered that we have more strength. Tilt that pelvic bowl forward. Engage your belly, a source of strength in your belly. We have to talk about it, fire or whatever you want to call it. Reach your spine to the sky. Stack, grow tall. Inhale your arms up towards the sky. Elbow, knees, knees will be slightly bent. Flex ankles, wiggle toes. Exhale, fold forward, reach towards your toes. Release your head and neck and enjoy your back. Enjoy the backs of the legs. Notice the energy shift. Connecting to the energy within is also your strength. We always have energy within. We connect with the energy we don't have. But what about all the energy we do have? Bend elbows if you have a little more room. Wiggle toes if you have a little more room. Release hands from your toes if they're there. Point your toes and notice the energy shifts in the shins, the legs. Flex ankles, toes come towards your knees and enjoy the energy in the backs of the legs. Wiggle toes. Slide up shins to knees to ankles. Spread your legs wide. Come into a wide angle pose. You'll bring your hands behind you, fists to the floor. Pick up your hips and slide forward a wee bit more. Find your ischial spines into the earth. If you have a blanket or a block or a bolster, you can sit up on it or you can just sit flat to the floor. 
I am on nothing today because my body is calling to root into the earth. That's where my strength comes from, the energy of the earth. And so connect with what works for you, what's kind for you. Knees can be bent or straight. Flex ankles, spread your toes wide. Find that energy in the to toes, wiggling them. Engage your belly. Sit tall, tall as you can, growing tall. Draw shoulders back. Reach your hands out by your sides, reaching them up in a huge circle towards the sky. Wiggle fingers. Inhale, grow tall once again, growing as tall as you can, rooting from the sit bones through the sky. Engage your belly, your center. Twist to the left. Right hand comes to the left thigh. Left fingers come behind you. Tent them on the earth. Inhale, grow tall, lengthen your spine. Tall, elegant, strong, connecting with that inner strength, even in this somewhat awkward pose. Exhale, breathe over the left shoulder, gaze at the view, let it go, letting the clogs go. Inhale, reach as tall as you can, grow as tall as you can. Exhale, breathe over that left shoulder. Inhale, raise arms to the sky, twist back to center, drop your shoulders. Inhale, release, grow as tall as you can. Find the sit bones, have a shimmy. Huge inhale, grow as tall as you can. Engage every little tiny muscle in the belly. Twist to the right. Left hand comes to the right thigh. Right fingers come behind. Tent, grow as tall as you can. Exhale, twist over the right shoulder. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist. Envisioning yourself, filling yourself up with energy. Exhaling, releasing the clogs, the disbelief, the lack of trust, the noise, the frustration. Inhale, reach arms up to the sky. Twist back to center. Lower hands to the floor or the earth in front of you. Walk fingers lightly forward. Hinge at the waist. Shoot your chest forward. Back is flat. Flex ankles, flex toes, root legs downward. Lots of energy going into the earth. Hands are light, heart shines forward, gaze shines forward. Huge breath in, pour it all the way in down to the toes, through your belly, through the backs of your legs. Exhale, smidge farther forward if you have room. Notice the energetic shifts as you release. Once more, huge breath in, puff your chest out, grow tall. Breathe all the way back into the, your rear end and down through your legs, letting your chest press forward. Exhale, fold a wee bit more. Release your head and neck and pause for a moment. Letting the release happen and feel good. Slide up to a seat. Bring your hands to your thighs and bring the soles of your feet together, knees apart, grab ankles and have a fun as a butterfly. Rock on your sit bones, connect downward. Hands can come to ankles or feet, whatever feels good. Root your ischial spine into the earth, grow tall. Use your ankles as a source of strength and have a rock. Using your inner core and your ankles and the pressure in your feet as a source of strength. Noticing all these interesting sources of strength. Big toe connecting, other toes connecting, soles of the feet strong, ankles strong, hands strong. Shoulders dropping down, engaging your back. Press your knees towards the floor, grow tall. Exhale, let it out. Release the knees maybe a wee bit farther to the floor. One more breath here. Inhale this fortitude, perhaps elegance. I like um, elegance as a form of strength. Exhale, release. Release your ankles. Sweep your legs in front and around side. Come to hands and knees. And knees under sit bones. Hands under shoulders. Spread fingers wide. Use your palms as a source of strength and balance. Pressing every smidge of the hand into the earth. Knuckles into the earth. Finger pads into the earth. Inhale, 
for a cow and send some love to that lower back. When it hurts, we are less strong. Exhale round, bathing your spine with breath. The breath can be a source of strength. Round into cow. Crown of the head reaches to the sky, chest reaches forward, belly and back, enjoy. Exhale, round into cat. Let it feel amazing. Come back to hands and knees and find your center, your balance, your strength. Reach right foot towards the back. Extend your ankle. Toes on the floor. Uh, ankle is 90 degrees. Hands directly under your shoulders. Find your balance here on three legs. Inhale, raise right leg to the sky about six inches, a little under hip height, so your back thinks it's fun. When you've found your balance, reach your left hand long and notice your center here. And notice your strength, press fingers in one direction, heel in the other, long and graceful, balanced. Lots of strength here. And notice this inner strength comes from activating all the tiny hidden muscles and not over clenching and over gripping. Huge breath in, stretch long. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath you, squeezing tight. Inhale, stretch long, using your focus and your center. Bring elbow to knee underneath you to not tip over. Grow tall and long, press your heel to the back wall or to the back creek or tree or whatever's back there. Elbow to knee, stretch long, long, long. Lower your left hand, find your center. Lower your right toes, drop your right heel. Shift onto the left hand and come into gate pose. Right hand draws back, gaze upward. Look at the view and with that open-hearted stance, notice your strength. Notice where the strength comes from here, the outer edge of that right foot. Heart open, left fingers, lots of things working together. That's where inner strength comes. Rolling the right wrist out with kindness. Come to stillness. Exhale, reach right arm over the right ear, stretching as long as you can. Whole right side body gets to enjoy. If it's fun, raise your right foot. Use your inner strength. And notice where it comes from here. It comes from quiet stillness within. If you have room, you can take your right hand and grab your right ankle and enjoy the front of the right thigh. Embrace the wobbles. They're part of being strong. And notice the gripping doesn't help. Draw your right shoulder back, your right heel towards your rear end if you've got room. And appreciate what it takes to do something like this if it's working. Lots of moving parts. Lots of focus and attention is part of that inner strength. Release hand, release foot, stretch along in either direction. Lower your foot, reach your hand to the sky. Drop right hand into left hip crease, roll your shoulder open and gaze up, release, open. Come back to hands and knees and find your center. Waggle your hips. Lower forearms to the floor, come into puppy pose, lower forehead to the floor. Release your back, release your armpits, walk your fingers forward. Taking a rest, a pause. Recognizing that the rest and the pause is part of the strength. Notice if you curl your toes, what happens? Subtle little shifts that feel kind of good. Wiggle fingers a little farther forward. Untuck toes, pause. Enjoy the rest and the release and all the sensations. Take a moment to consciously allow the shifting, the moving. That when we move, we are actually stronger and more able to make things happen, lift heavy things, go farther, breaths. Notice how beautiful the breath feels. 
Coming back to hands and knees when you feel ready. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Noticing the transition, the importance of kind transitions to our strength. Find your hands, your fingers, spread fingers wide, flatten palms, extend left leg onto your tippy toe. Find your center. Perhaps rearrange if hands need to be in a different spot to feel balanced and strong. Taking your time with the transitions. Inhale, raise your left foot. Press heel to the back wall or behind you. Engage your belly. Breathe. Raise right arm. Extend long. Enjoy. Balance. You can roll your ankle or your wrist. Noticing the little movements. Big inhale. Reach in either direction. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch long, long, long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Noticing the focus as to that inner strength and balance and grace. Elegant elbow to knee. Even if you're tipping. Inhale, long, long, long. Lower your foot and your hand. Drop left heel to the right reach left hand tall grow tall 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 coming into gate pose outer edge of that left foot on the earth exhale reach your left arm over your head if you wish raise the left foot noticing the focus adds to the strength adds to the balance connecting here with your inner grace elegance perhaps trust and belief in yourself If you wish, grab your left foot, bringing your left heel to your rear end and see what happens. Notice how it feels. Notice the wiggles and the wobbles, not a problem. Release your foot, release your hands, stretching tall. Lower the foot to the earth, reach left hand to the sky. Drop left hand into the right hip crease, roll open, gaze upward. Inviting that openness. Noticing what you've noticed, the clouds moving, the leaves, the sky, whatever it is that's happening there. Big breath in and out. Reach left hand to the sky, come back to Knees come apart, toes together. Fall back into child's pose. Reach your rear end to your heels. Stretch as long as you can. Shimmy your side body and enjoy it. Three deep breaths here. Bring hands back under your face, lifting back up to hands and knees. Walk hands forward, curl up into downward dog and let yourself enjoy. Do feet wanna to be together today, apart? Take a moment to listen to your body and find the downward dog that feels the most grounded. Take a moment upside down here to connect to your inner strength. Notice where it comes from here. Does it come from your toes, your feet, from the movement? Do you notice your belly? What do you notice? Take five breaths here to enjoy downward dog however you like, stillness, moving, most of you who join me have done enough yoga that you can notice what your body needs. We always want someone to tell us what to do, but give your body a few minutes to just be, to listen to it. Notice what it craves and honor it. Big breath in and out. Notice the longer you're here, what lets go and releases. Kind of interesting. 
take a moment to ground your hands, find the balls of your feet, all the things. Engage your belly, your center. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Roll out the ankle, gaze under that armpit. Look at the view, appreciate the perspective. Perhaps the sunshine on the leaves, the different colors of leaves. And if you're indoors and the view isn't great, you can close your eyes and envision a view. Or focus on the energy shift, the release. Resquare your hips, press your heel into the back wall, channel that inner energy, the inner core, your inner strength. Groundedness. Close eyes and notice the calm here, even in this three-legged, upside-down, extremely awkward position. Inhale, reach your heel to the back wall. Exhale, bring your foot between your hands. Come into a high lunge and take your time finding your balance. You may want to widen that left foot. Right foot, widen the stance. Find hip hands on hips. Notice the connection of the hands to the hips. Create strength. Inhale. Oops. <laughs> if you tip, no worries. Inhale. Exhale, sink into the left knee. Make sure your left knee is not in front of your left ankle. Inhale, straight your front knee. Exhale, bend. Notice where your strength comes from here. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. We'll do three more. Settling into your body, settling into the movement and where you need to channel strength so as to not tip over. Come back to a bent knee into that high lunge. Notice your back ball of your foot readjust with kindness here. Inhale once again, bring hands to heart center. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Notice where that strength comes from. Right elbow hooks onto the left thigh, coming into a high lunge twist. Press your right heel back towards the back wall and enjoy this twist. Lots of things engaged. If hands together isn't working, you can bring right hand to the floor or left hand to the sky. Do what works for your body. Notice the strength here. The strength coming from the concert of all the different muscles working together. Noticing toes, finger pads, palms, all the things. Come back to center. Hands still at heart center. Lower hands to the floor. Wiggle your left foot to the outer edge of the mat. Lower your back knee. Come into lizard pose. Untuck your back foot. Staying upright and enjoy a release in the hips here. Staying upright, heart shining forward, a proud lizard. Three breaths, inviting that movement, shifting any stuck anything. Closing eyes if that's okay for you. Bring left hand to the outside of the left foot. Wiggle your left foot to the center. Reorganize the back top of the foot for balance. Bring hands to your thigh. Come into a low lunge or Anjaneyasana from here using your inner strength. Reach arms to the sky. Slight arch back, gaze upward. Enjoy looking at the view, noticing how it feels inside. Big breath in, pour the breath in, let it feel good. Exhale, let hands drip to heart center. Lower hands on either side of your feet. Curl your toes, lift up to a high lunge. Hands on the earth for the moment. Hop your back foot forward a teensy bit, drop your right heel and cartwheel up into warrior two. Readjust your feet as needed. Heels should be in what we call heel to heel alignment. Front knee is bent, gaze is over, 
the front middle finger. Lifting up toes, organizing your feet. Use the every little smidge of the soles of the feet for balance. Inhale, grow tall through the center, all the way up to the sky like a marionette. Exhale, sink in. Flip front hand up to the sky. Drop right hand down the back leg, coming into Peaceful Warrior. Allowing your inner strength and beauty to shine here. Feeling elegant, graceful. Inhale, stretch tall a little farther. Exhale, release. Inhale, straight your front knee here. Exhale, bend. Notice the inner strength and focus needed here. Exhale, bend. Cartwheel arms open to the sky. Back to warrior two. Circling arms down by your pelvis, bringing your hands together at heart center. Pause here for a moment. Lower hands down to the pelvis, circling up and out, coming back, arms reach to the sky, palms together, drip them down in front of the heart. Two more big circles here. Hands, palms come together above your head, drip them down in front of your heart, pause, connect to the heart space, lower them to the pelvis and circling round. You may notice your front thigh saying hello, press the thumbs into the sternum once more. Drip the hands back to heart center. Straight that front knee. Turn towards the front. Lower hands to the earth. Hop your back foot forward. You'll turn your heel and hop it forward. Coming into a short pyramid pose. Inviting release in the back of the left leg. Lifting five toes. Lower them down. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, lower down, release your head and neck. And here, enjoy the pyramid that feels good to you. It may be moving slightly, rocking slightly. It may be still. Three breaths, connecting with what your body enjoys. Letting your body be right and letting your body know. That is um, strength embodied. Hop back foot forward to meet the front foot. Sink your hips back, coming into chair pose. Sinking hips down and back, hands to heart center. For those of you who have functional shoulders, you can reach your arms long in front. Do what works for your body and notice your feet. Do you wanna widen your feet, narrow your feet, sink your hips back, maybe noticing shaking. Three more breaths here. Noticing where the strength comes from. What do you need to do to sit here? Wiggle toes, notice your feet, focus. What happens if you grip less? Usually we get more strength even though our culture and our training tells us to grip more. Lower hands to the floor, drop head and neck, straight your legs, release and enjoy. Bend knees gently, circle your arms out and up, coming all the way up towards the sky. Dripping hands to heart center, pause and enjoy. Very best. Letting yourself equilibrate. Lower hands down by your hips, circle them out and up towards the sky. Palms come together, slight arch back. Fold, forward, forward, fold. Inhale for that half lift, enjoy the movement here. Exhale, forward, fold. Palms on the earth, step back to plank and pause here for a moment. Find your inner strength.
shift forward onto your tippy toes, lower down chaturanga towards the earth, forehead to the floor, weight is out of your hands, inhale for low cobra. Enjoy the front of your hips on the earth. Enjoy the strength in the back and the belly. Exhale, lower down, curl up to downward dog and pause and enjoy. Noticing whether you feel strong within, tippy within, unsteady, steady, Allow yourself to notice how it feels. Coming back to that intention. Root left ball of the foot into the earth, both palms into the earth, all 10 fingers assist you, support you. Gauge your belly. Inhale, raise your right leg to the sky. Three-legged dog, stack hips, roll your hip open, ankle, all the things, let it be, feel amazing. Extend right heel, right leg long, three-legged dog. Finding all the parts here that need to be engaged for the strength you need. Press the heel into the back wall, press, press, press. Gently bring foot between your hands, come into the high lunge and take a moment to find the stance that gives you the most inner strength. Hands on hips, using the hips for strength, the connection between the hands and your hips. Noticing toes, noticing feet. Taking a moment to let your body be in charge, tell you what it needs. Hands on hips. Straight that front knee and bend. Inhale, straight, exhale, bend. A little further bend with each sink. Inhale, straight, exhale, bend, sink in, enjoy. Perhaps bounce a little, bring hands to heart. Hinge halfway, hook left elbow over right knee, coming into that high lunge twist. Lots of strength here. Use the palms, the finger pads, the toes, whatever you need. Back knee is mostly straight here. And try not to dump all your weight onto that left, right thigh. It's not actually strong. Be strong, engage all the things to use your inner strength to stay up here. Twist back to center, lower hands to the inside of the right foot, walk the right foot to the edge of the mat, adjust as needed, lower your back knee, come into high proud lizard. We often call upright pigeon, proud pigeon. So I'm going to name this proud lizard and I'm surrounded with so many lizards here and they are kind of proud, they're shameless. They're not afraid of me. Letting your hips soften. Part of that inner strength is just softening into who you are, your history, your traumas, your strengths, your wisdom, your experiences, all of the things that make you, you. You can roll your right knee towards the outside onto the right side of your foot if you wish. And when your lizard feels complete, bring right hand to the outside of the right foot. You'll wiggle it back to the center. Using your inner strength, come up to a low lunge. Reach arms to the sky, proud and tall, gaze up. Ooh, enjoy it. Wiggle fingers. Let the view pour in. Let your heart bathe in this position. Let your hips bathe in it. Wiggle fingers, roll your wrists. Again, let your body tell you what feels amazing. Maybe even a horse's breath here, if that would feel amazing. Lower hands on either side of your front foot, curl your toe, coming to a low lunge here. Bend your front 
Your hands are on the ground is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Drop your right heel, left heel to the right, pardon me. Cartwheel up to warrior two. Gaze over the right middle finger and pause here. Grow the torso long and tall, hands in either direction. Bend that front knee, straight your front knee. Bend your front knee, straight your front knee, noticing your hips and glutes engage. Bend the front knee, gazes over the right middle finger, drishti. Flip your right palm up with knee bent. Tip back into graceful, peaceful warrior. Enjoy your right rib cage, gazing up, appreciating the view, appreciating your body, maybe appreciating something in your life right now. Perhaps appreciating your inner strength, your journey. Straight your front knee. In this elegant warrior, bend your front knee. Straight your front knee. And bend the front knee. Cartwheel hands open to warrior two. Pause here. Circle hands down to the pelvis, up to heart. Press the thumbs into the sternum. Lower them down to the pelvis, reach them out and up. Meeting together above you, drip them down in front of your eyes, in front of your heart, down in front of the pelvis, circle up. Big circles, palms together. Enjoy the movement and the strength from within, focusing on the belly for balance. Coming back to heart center. Turn towards the front, lower hands on either side of your foot, turn your back heel straight, Hop that back foot forward, coming into that short pyramid on this side and enjoy it for a few moments. Do what your body craves here. Let the back of the right leg craves here at this point in the class. And it may be different on this side than the other. Big breath in and out. You may want to bend and straighten your front knee, shift weight, let it feel good. Lower palms to the earth. If you need to bend your knees, do that. You will bend knees. Coming down onto your knees, sweep your knees around, roll onto your right hip, using your hands for support and come to lie down. Slowly, gracefully, elegantly. And when you arrive, arrive, land, settle. Notice how your body feels right now. Find your sacrum on the earth. Bring your heels towards your rear end, palms into the earth. Lift up into an easy bridge, shimmy shoulders underneath. Enjoy the back body. Be kind to your neck. Knees will energetically connect. And notice your feet. Do they need to walk a little farther outward? Do you want to be up on your tiptoes? Notice what feels good. Shoot hips to the sky. Let your heart bathe in the space and the anti-gravity. Let it fill. Let this be a moving pose today, shifting allowing some motion. Notice what feels good. Untuck shoulders, lower hips to the earth. Bring your knees into your chest and have a lovely massage of the lower back. Rock side to side, all the way to the edge and let your inner knowing guide you as to when to stop. So you don't tip and if you don't get it right, oh well. If a happy baby would feel good, enjoy that. And notice that even in this very unflattering position, we can feel good inside. Press knees to the floor, soles of the feet to the sky. Potentially straight both legs and see how that feels. Even more ungraceful position. Rock 
and let your body guide you. Find that inner knowing, inner strength to not tip. Bring soles of the feet together, heels into the groin. Make room for your chest with kindness. Press heels towards your groin. Enjoy it. Big breath in. Exhale, press heels a wee bit more towards the groin if it feels good. And remember, always opt out if it doesn't. Release hands, lower feet to the floor. Hand to heart, hand to belly, Supta Baddha Konasana. Taking a listen. Noticing how every cell in your body feels right now. Eyes closed. Listen. One more big breath, enjoy it. Bring hands to the outer edges of your thighs. Draw your knees together. Knock kneed, feet come to the outer edge of the mat. Hands overhead in an easy cactus. Drop knees to the right, coming into a twist. Gaze to the left if your neck has room and enjoy. Noticing that connecting with your inner strength is actually also about feeling good. When we feel good, we feel strong, we feel proud, we feel more confident. We often think inner strength means grit and working harder and pushing and gripping. Perhaps it's also feeling good. Perhaps it's actually feeling good. Breathe in and out. Bring your gaze back to center, knees back to center, reorganize everything, reminding yourself that the transition is part of the success, part of the strength, part of the feeling good. Inhale, drop knees to the left, knock knee at the start, right knee connects to the front left corner, enjoy that right hip. Let it feel amazing. Gaze to the right if you have more room, and that would feel good. Letting your body guide you. Bring gaze back to center and knees back to center. We are going to transition into Shavasana. You can do Supta Baddha Konasana. You can put a, a bolster under your knees. You can bring hand to heart, hand to belly, hands by your side. Hands might be out like a T or like a cactus. Notice what feels best to you. Take a moment to listen. Honor. When we honor our body and what feels best, that's where we are our strongest. When you've found your spot, take in a big deep inhale and a huge exhale, letting go, settling in, letting the earth beneath you hold you, letting its energy and its strength be in charge, allowing yourself to surrender, which takes that trust, inner knowing, actually a form of strength sometimes to surrender to what is allowing yourself to enjoy a few moments here calm kind relaxed being cared for
gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle fingers and toes. Stretch in whatever way feels good to you, letting your body be in charge. It rarely, when in charge, makes terrible decisions. It knows what feels good. And letting it decide how you might like to transition back to seated whether it's rolling onto a side and pausing, rocking your way up, let it be in charge for this brief moment. When it's cared for, it is its highest, wisest self and often makes delightful decisions. When you arrive seated, find your sit bones and find a position that feels good to you, letting your body guide you once again is it cross-legged? Is it a double pigeon? Is it legs stretched along? Root your sit bones into the earth. Grow tall and proud. Heart shines forward. Palms reach to the sky. Take in a long, big drink of breath, sending it all the way down through your pelvis into the earth. And exhale, borrowing the earth's energy, letting it come up through the pelvis with the breath. Pouring that light and energy into your chest and out your mouth. Bring a hand to heart and another hand atop. Eyes closed. Notice the light within. Perhaps allowing some golden light in there. Letting it shine. Letting it be part of that inner strength. Connect to that light within that we often don't notice. May you all have a beautiful week ahead, connecting to your inner strength, your inner wisdom, what you know to be true. Trust and believe in yourself and connect to that inner golden light. Let yourself shine, let yourself enjoy it. The light in me honors and reflects that light in each and every one of you. Have a beautiful week ahead. Namaste.